ever written and or played performed in the world divided into two sorts there's Bach and the rest <laughs> and they think I'm joking <laughs> that if music could write itself the result would be Bach <laughs> Most people just go to work to earn enough money to live. <laughs> and to them, they look forward to retiring. Work for them is a drudgery. <laughs> I think then people grow old very quickly, you know. And I, I'm very, very lucky that, that work for me is definitely not drudgery. <laughs> the thought to me of retiring is appalling. I'd be bored stiff. <laughs> No, I, I need to have a reason to get up in the morning. I earn my living out of something I love doing, which is making musical instruments and repairing them. Musical instruments is, is a wonderful way to earn your living. I wouldn't have it any other way. Some people do think I'm, I'm a bit crazy as yes, to do this by hand, but that's what they did in the 18th century. They had exactly the same amount of time as we have nowadays. <laughs> 24 hours in a day. They didn't have machinery. And I'm making the same instruments, so there's no reason I can't do the same thing. <laughs> Bach just wrote what he wanted to write, and he ignored the critics, as it were. Um, and to many people in his day, you know, he was just a bit old-fashioned. If it's fashionable, I, I go the other direction, I'm afraid. <laughs> People who think that they must wear these clothes, for instance, or build this sort of house, or listen to this sort of music, this Indian proverb sums it up very neatly. <laughs> Only dead fish go with the stream. <laughs> I love that. That, that, that's, that puts it precisely. And Bach was most definitely not a dead fish. <laughs> the big companies who make violin bridges boast that they, they, the best wood they use is five years old. <laughs> and mine is 40 years old. <laughs> The double bass bow I made from a tree that I actually planted 30 years ago. When you make something out of wood, is is actually almost alive. The right design, the right material, and good workmanship. That's what makes a beautiful musical instrument. Another little Scottish proverb. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> that, that I like, yes, yes, yeah. It doesn't matter how long it takes, but it, it does matter how well it's done. You try and do your best. You struggle really hard to make it perfect, but it's never quite perfect. And when you play the music, it's wonderful. Because each pipe then 
actually has an individual character. I always say that, you know, perfection is something you aim for. <laughs> you mustn't ever get there. <laughs> if you did, then it suddenly becomes a bit boring. <laughs>